Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. I just left my campsite and I'm headed back home with another camp out along the way. All right, it happened everyone. I got a flat tire. Uh-oh. All right, so I have street tires on my 4Runner because that's what it came with. Not good on the roads they're driving on every weekend. I'll get a flat tire sooner than if I had all terrain. This has always been a concern since I bought this 4Runner. A lot of these roads only have room for one vehicle, so if you don't have a pull-off right there when you're about to pass somebody, somebody's got to back up. So... It's not always a good situation. So if I were to get a flat tire, I have a spare tire, um, a full-size spare tire that hangs down in the back um, underneath. I have also have a can that fills the tire. It'll fill the uh, flat tire with gooey, spongy stuff. I don't know. I forget what it's called. But it works in my experience. Um, I drove like a month once with that stuff on a small car. Uh, one tire. Um, I also have a air pump that plugs into the 12 volt outlet. Some people talk about airing down their tires. Um, that way the tire will move around the rocks and the roots and things like that a little better. These are back roads in the Gunnison National Forest. Very scenic drive. Looks like we got some deer. Is that deer or? That's kind of right. All right, it happened, everyone. I got a flat tire. Somebody on an e-bike uh, sailed me down. Told me he was riding beside me. Told me I had a flat tire. And I had just checked it like 10 minutes before that because I thought it felt a little rough or something. But it was fine then when I checked it. And then I came down the pass. I guess by the time I got down, it was completely flat. It was completely flat. So I just changed the tire, used my spare. Let me go check it again up here. But I think it's all good. I had a full size spare. It's the first time I had to change the tire on this vehicle. It's those uh, street tires I have. Really need um, some all terrain tires. Okay. All right, here's the tire that got flat. Has a cut in it right there, probably from a rock, sharp rock. Street tires are bad for being off-road. Heavy gravel, like a lot. And that is where it came from. That's my spare tire it is now on the uh, front passenger. Yeah, I guess it took about an hour. Probably, no, it took less than an hour. Got some heavy traffic here. Parked close to a road. Could have just gone home and not camped with this tire. And it won't go below. Dang it, these freaking... A lot of mosquitoes out here. It won't hang below because this metal thing I need to get out. It's, I don't see how you get it out, I don't know, but yeah, it's just going on my mattress in the back, so I have to put it back up in there tomorrow morning before I leave. Looks like it got moved. 
All right. Anyway, that's. Yeah, I got a flat tire. Got some clouds moving in. Looks like the weather may have changed since I've I'm, I've been out of service for three days. So looks like it might get some rain here. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I'm at 10,183 feet. All right, so I got a spot here. It's really close to a road. Um, you can probably hear it. Um, there are a lot of flies here. There's some garbage over there. Um, I think it's a very popular spot for fishers, fishermen, um, with mucklucks. Because it's very marshy behind behind you and over here. There's a pond over here. Um, I'll show you later. But um, yeah, I got the citronella candle going. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to set up my tent. But actually I'm trying to, to decide if I want to stay here or uh, go somewhere else. Possibly go home even. I don't know. Kind of having second thoughts. So I thought I would think about it over this um, very nice beer here. <clears throat> Got on these mosquitoes and I'll show you. Sierra Nevada Torpedo Extra IPA. You know, should I stay here or should I go? Red noise will calm down at night. Um, and flies, a lot of flies, gosh. Close to water, still water. Man. Um, it's a very marshy area. And the garbage doesn't help. Helps the flies, not like anything else. Ah. But I guess if I'm gonna stay, I need to set up the tent. This is awful. I'll be fine in the tent and screen room. <clears throat> and it might rain. Gosh, I'm so itchy. I'm so filthy from that freaking tire. The flat wheel. Flat tire, the whole wheel, I gotta move. I'll have to put it back into the car tomorrow morning. That's not that's one reason why I'm staying probably. I already took that out. It's just a lot of work to get it back in. <laughs> it's very heavy, it's very big. Gosh. Anyway, I'll show you what's behind here. This area, okay, so this is that marshy area I wanted to show you. I'm not going to walk back here, there's puddles like right here. I mean it's, it's water as soon as that, right there you can see where people, probably fishermen and mucklucks, and deer and whatever, walking through probably as well, but um, yeah, this is uh, this creek back here. I guess that's Cottonwood Creek. I'm camped on, I'm here on uh, Cottonwood Pass. I wonder if I could have uh, gotten one of the spots farther down the path, farther down uh, where it's right along the creek and it's fast moving creek. I think I would have liked that better. It's really buggy here. I don't think it'd be as buggy in a area like that. 
But um, yeah, it's late afternoon and um, I'll just stay out overnight, get up and go. I'm getting this pond here before the sun's completely down. Gosh, it went behind another mountain before the one I could see right there. So, anyway, try to level this. It's a pond here next to my camp. You can see that street sign. Yeah, maybe you can't. The road's right there. You can see cars coming here soon. Be able to see it. It is too wet here to walk around for sure. I mean, it's water everywhere, it's marsh. It's a very marshy area. And further down the road, there's campsites that are right next to the creek where it's rushing, uh, down, rushing down the mountain. And uh, I'd like to camp there, but it's Friday night, I didn't think there'd be any open. There's only a few, I think, maybe, I don't know, but um, I'd imagine this get taken quicker than this. But this is pretty nice right here, this part. Yeah, the spot is very loud in the daytime. But after the sun went down, it quieted down a lot, a lot less cars. Um, and then overnight it wasn't bad. I don't, gosh, I think I slept pretty good. I don't remember hearing too much noise. Alright, now I gotta put this tire back in the car. Very heavy. Oh, it actually wasn't that bad. Why do people have to be so horrible? Oh my gosh. People are garbage. Really horrible. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.